privilege of work with all the talented research scientists at IHMC across the spectrum of their work. I'd like to share with you what it's like to work with a team of superstars, because innovation is a team sport. As many of you know, this past uh, summer, a team of research scientists from IHMC came in second in the world and placed uh, came in second in the world, came first in, in the U.S. in the international robotics competition. This was a three-year competition where we programmed a six-foot, two, 380-pound uh, robot using human-machine teamwork to perform tasks such as opening a door, walking over rough ter terrain, climbing up steps. We ended up taking over one million dollars in prize money, and we're investing that in Pensacola research operations. I counted up all the researchers that have been through robotics groups in the last three years, and I came up with a number north of 50. 50! That's a huge team. That's an enormous amount of cats to That's an enormous amount of teammates that have to work together. But all great teams have great leaders, and IHMC is robotics is no exception. We have three seasoned leaders of our robotic team, Dr. Jerry Pratt, Peter Newhouse, and Matt Johnson, each a stellar researcher in their own right. Earlier in this month, I had the pleasure of attending the induction ceremony for the Florida Inventors Hall of Fame, where the likes of automotive pioneer Henry Ford and the creator of the feline immunodeficiency uh, virus vaccine, Janet Yamamoto, were honored. But the highlight of the night was when IHC's own Jerry Pratt was uh, welcomed to the stage to be honored for his revolutionary work in walking robotics. In his acceptance speech, he addressed the role of teamwork in innovation. We're all familiar with Thomas Edison's adage that, that genius is 99% uh, perspiration. Jerry's viewpoint is a little bit more colorful. He likens it to playing rugby in a hurricane. What a few alligators going on in the field for good measure. Now, rugby is a hard enough sport for most of us to understand anyway, right? The rules are incomprehensible. Uh, the motto is, is give blood. There's this thing called a scrub, basically a big shoving match. And sometimes you see the goal, but oftentimes you can't see more than a foot in front of your uh, face. And sometimes things seem so hopeless that you just, it's best to punt the ball in desperation. And that's things that scientists and engineers do all the time, especially when the robot is falling down. So we certainly felt that day way during the robotics competition. But no matter how badly the day is going, you stick together as a team and you weather it out. Robots break, software rots, design flaws, flaws emerge, say la vie, it's a messy sport. And no matter how bad the day you've had, you always get up the next day thinking, this is going to be the day when everything works. You're usually wrong. But sometimes you're right, and then Jerry's advice on that is to walk away, enjoy the moment, and then return the next day with an even greater sense of momentum. Jerry's wife, Megan, once told me that she often comes home to find Jerry sitting at her kitchen table at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's how she knows it's been a good day. And you know what this is all about? It's not about Jerry. It's not about IHMC. It's about the world. In the words of my good friend, Dr. Fariba Faru, the IHMC robotics team wasn't in it for the prize money, but for the good of the state of the art. So let me give you some more examples of innovation as a team sport. Our robotics group is keenly involved with their physiological researchers. Together, they've integrated tactile displays, electrotactile on the tongue, fibrotactile on the torso, with robotic lower limb exoskeletons to give a paraplegic a sense of when and where their foot is contracting the ground. In doing so, they can learn how to walk and balance much like many of us do without even thinking about it. And multiple researchers at IHMC are teaming with the dive community to optimize human performance, safety, and resilience in extreme environments. And in particular, they're studying how genetics might have an influence on how certain individuals are susceptible to things like deep depression sickness. And then there's innovation beyond the walls of IHMC. IHMC hosts blue sky studies where we invite a team of experts from all over the world to study a seemingly insurmountable problem. In this case, they were looking at novel concepts for planetary surface exploration. And this is where team innovation has led us. In the spring of 2016, we're opening a new facility with a showcase area in robotics. Come visit us when it's open. We're going to build a glass catwalk over our robotics highway so you can come see our team working together anytime. So there you have it. Innovation is a team sport. If you see an IHMC researcher on the street, congratulate them for being, for being part of such a great team, the team from Pensacola, Florida. Thank you.